So it's James's last day today here, and we thought um, we'd make him do something. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got uh, a little lighting job that we need doing, and he's just uh, in the process of stripping the cables. Um, for we've already got an X marks the spot, so we're going to put a spotlight here, shining down onto the dartboard because there's no lights on it, and probably put a pull switch in the corner. So yeah. That's what that's that's the plan. So we have the angled spotlight fitted, should give us plenty of light on the board. Um, we're just wiring, James is just wiring up the pull switch in the corner. With nice hefty wire as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Your earth isn't going anywhere is it? You're not using it huh? So I took the uh, extra pull cord off and just left that bit. Ta da! Awesome. There you go. Light. Which is on the train. Thank you. Thanks, James. See, see, you, see, you. see you next week. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Right, so here we are. Hello, oh, hello. What's happened? Back at. Bon dia. Down back with the foggies. The foggies. With the foggies. We still got. Diogo's had issues trying to get his cone off, haven't you? Hey? Eh? Haven't you? Sit down, look at me. <laughs> um, we're just going to finish off the floor. So don't tell Andrea, but we're actually finishing things at someone else's house. Uh, so here goes. So here we go. Area's all prepared. Won't take very long now. Move the heavy covered stuff over and uh, two dry fitted tiles so we can measure the little gaps and then work our way down to it.
So there we have it, finished floor. And then we put all the kitchen furniture back to keep everyone off it and the two tiles in the doorway here and here. So there we go, happy? Very happy, thank Good. you very much. So here I am down in the woods collecting firewood again. And in the areas we've cleared, you can see we've cleared this big area here. Nearly there's a few little mimosa to cut off. But uh, all this stuff, the, I think it's a wart of some description, and it's come up everywhere. Which is really nice to see. And rock roses are coming through again, rather than this ugly mimosa. Yeah. If you see here, this is uh, sobriety or cork oaks coming back up. So it's really good to see. And there we go, another step to being self-sufficient. The log store's full up, that'll last us two weeks, if not a bit more. And then the next year I'm going to make a machine, a machine, uh, make a... So as I was saying, yeah, next year, this is a bag of charcoal. Next year we're going to be making our own charcoal for barbecuing on, which we barbecue in the front area of here. Uh, we've been making our own charcoal and, and when I make a retort. To, uh, to to make it basically so get the right steel and uh, yeah hola bon dia so I've just got back from uh, doing the bees it's nine o'clock Monday morning um, we've lost I thought we would do so there were two hives which were completely empty so uh, to, brought them back up here there's no wax moth anywhere treated the three remaining hives for varroa they all seem to have a bit of varroa but not uh, not a lot and uh, they're all looking really strong so hopefully we've got three hives to go through the winter which uh, yeah which st stands us in good stead really no problem and here's the wife you doing wife laundry laundry so here we are with uh, beautiful Max hello mate are you alright you good boy we got an issue Max's gate post as you can see has uh, snapped off at the ground level so I'm going to have to move it probably over to here pull the gate so it's still kept inside and uh, we'll dig a new hole and put a and concrete a gate post in I think won't we Max? Not as deep as I'd like, but we're down to solid granite, and we're well, about 600 deep, so they'll have to do, uh, but I will, concrete in the gate post as opposed to uh, just putting the soil back in. I'll get a metal, uh, metal post as well, I think. Hey. So, Max. Max. So, Max's new gatepost. 
here's the hole and as I was saying I, I couldn't get deep enough I'm down to that solid granite down there uh, and it's solid granite for about a foot and then I got another foot of just soil yeah so I'll show you what I've done to so because I can't go any deeper I like my gate post to be three foot deep but because I can't go any deeper I'll show you a little diagram of what I've made the hole look like so there's the surface so I've cut into here and here it's about oh, I don't know eight inches uh, 200 mil across here yeah but what I've done because uh, I can't go much deeper than this so I've made the bottom of it bulbous like this yeah and that gives a better better support when you put the gate post in you've got a lot more material here in contact with the granite that's what I want maximum contact with the granite so then this won't move like that and uh, hopefully that's what it'll work out like yeah. hiya so uh, help has arrived thank you the strong people have arrived so we've had a break in the weather so we're going to get you guys just a little bit of gentle concrete in All right. <laughs> gentle concrete so here goes, uh, I'll start the mixer up, Ewan's getting two gravel, so I'm doing a mix for this post, two gravel, two of the coarse sand, and one of cement, and, uh, and uh, it's a little bit stronger than it should be, four to one, but it's pretty good for the fence post, and I want it to go off a bit quicker, so that's what we're doing. So that's two gravel and one sand in now. What I'd like to do now is put the cement in uh, and then another sand afterwards. And that would give you a good, uh, just you know the cement will be well mixed within the mix. A little bit wet, but that's fine. Because we've got a nice uh, wet mix, a fairly small hole, and we put a hollow tube in it. I like to fill the hole nearly to the top first, and then work the tube down in it so you know you've got concrete gone on the inside of the, of the post as well. So we're mostly full there. <coughs> we should be able to work this down. We hit the bottom. Now it needs to be facing that post. Yeah. So that the hinges bolt onto this face and it can be in line. That's the idea, and we just need to level it up.
Leveling in concrete posts on a. Be quiet, please. Leveling in concrete posts on a windy day. It's always best to check them every now and again when the concrete starts going off, or you can put stays onto the post to keep it where it is. Not that windy today, so it should be okay. But surprising how much the wind will catch. And you have a, a post like that. <laughs> Okay, so there we go, a basic foundation. This is just for um, a compost heap, three sections, three meter long, sec three meter wide sections. So we can tip from one to the other to the other. We're not gonna put a concrete floor on it because we want worms and stuff in the compost. So if you concrete the floor, that won't happen so well. Um, basically, we're digging down to just firm soil here, yeah? Because we know our topsoil is about two foot deep and we're only building a wall as high as what Ewan's on. Three blocks high, yeah? So we don't need foundations like massive foundations. Of course, if you're building a house, you need to go down to subsoil. That's the regulations in the UK and Portugal. Uh, officially, you need to go down to, to virgin ground to subsoil, uh, soil which hasn't been touched for thousands of years. Um, and that's deemed good enough to put then a concrete layer on. In a house in the UK, 
that would be a minimum of 9 inches or 225 mil. Uh, here, I don't know what the regulations are for thickness of concrete. They probably put steel in as well here. You don't need to do that in the UK. Um, yeah, so, <coughs> do we just dig it? It's about, well, it's deeper this end because it slopes up a bit. So it's deep enough anyway. We're going to put four loads of concrete in here, maybe five, and uh, level it all off. And that's the base then for our uh, compost heap. And then there will be dividers, but I'm going to make the dividers out of uh, wooden panels instead of concrete blocks, only because it's going to save me a load of work. I can screw two angle irons to the wall and put a divider in, and we can move the dividers to where we want then, seeing how it works. There'll be no front on it. Uh, hang on, how does that work? So, uh, schoolboy error by myself. <laughs> the <co> <laughs> oh dear. The compost heap is supposed to be accessed from this side, so this there won't be a wall here. So digging this whole foundation through here was... A waste of time. A complete waste of time. Thanks for that. So, um, but it's nice to show you. I did it for demonstration purposes, so uh, everyone can see how, how me and Ewan can sweat. <laughs> anyway, let's get some concrete. If you guys get off with it. Another advantage of a long handled shovel. Isn't mm -hmm. it? Keep shoving. Turn the house, left the lamb on. Get it. 
tractor. <laughs> This is proof that Nick doesn't do all the hard work. Ange does it all off camera. <laughs> yeah, Nick's doing some cooking at the moment. <laughs> I'm okay. Sorry? Sorry, and if his lamb's okay. Right. Is your lamb okay? Sorry about that. How are we doing? Good. Why haven't you finished? It's too heavy, too heavy for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is high. This is high, high, high here. So we need to bring it around this way. Good. How's it going there, darling? Look at that. What do you mean? Look at that. Well, okay. I tried to, but you moved. It's oh. perfect. And this, uh, that's level, believe it or not, so you can see the difference in ground level. Mm. It's uh, a foot higher there than it is here. But, so you need to put that in level as best as you can, and then when you put the blocks on, everything's level, everything's easy. Dangerous standing here with Nick with a hose pipe. I shut my eyes, but it's your it's your camera. <laughs> okay, everyone. Well, that's it. Uh, lots of hard work this week. Uh, big shout out to James. Uh, Thanks, James. You've been awesome all week. Um, yeah, we made your work, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the food. And we had a few beers and a bit of uh, enjoyment between ourselves. It was really good, really good to have you here. Uh, also, a big shout out to you and Carissa 
for their hard work and uh, diligent labours. Um, extra trench digging. <laughs> extra trench digging, really, yeah, just practice. Now you, it's now you can dig trenches, you know, fairly well. Uh, thanks, guys, that's brilliant. And uh, thanks to everyone for watching. And uh, don't forget, you don't need to, uh, don't miss any episodes. You can ring that notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. And then you won't miss any. Uh, you'll get notified. And uh, don't forget, you can like, and you can also, probably, really good if you sub subscribe. Sub sub subscribe. Sub sub subscribe. Yes. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>